Hey guys, it's Oaks. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. In this video, we are going to talk about a very controversial topic and it's about Tammy Abraham. Everybody got an opinion about Tammy Abraham and for some reason, many people don't like him. But me, I know the reasons why people don't like him. One of the reasons being his English and his name is not Tamil Dino da Silva. So when you are English and you are from the academy, you are nobody. The treatment that Chelsea Academy and especially Tammy Abraham is getting in the community is sickening and evil. If Tammy Abraham misses a penalty, it's gonna be the end of the world. He's gonna be racially abused and people want him out. If he misses few chances here and there, he need to go, he's crap, he doesn't deserve the shirt. But for other people, we give them time. If he was Morata, we understand that he just had babies. He's living in another country. He need to learn about the language. The same for Olivier Giroud, the same for Kai Harvard or Timo Werner. The only people that don't need any excuse or any understanding are the people from the academy and especially English players. So if you wanna know the truth about somebody, you have to take your biased opinion away. You have to take your mindset away in order to give the benefit of the doubt. But if you are going to continue the conspiracy theory, there is no need to even watch this video because you already have a mindset. You know what you believe is true for you and you are not interested in knowing the truth or giving the benefit of the doubt to anything. So what the point even of watching this video? Many people I understand rely more on gossip, on social media, on conspiracy theories than doing a deep research or fact check. You know what I mean? This is the generation that we are, we are living in. We just love black and white, short sentences, no analysis at all, no context. You are good or you are bad. You are in or you are out. There is no gray area anymore. It's all black and white. Very sad. What I like to do in my channels is to help people think outside the box. It's very difficult because this is not what it is in today's generation. This is not going to make you successful because people want to hear what they want to hear. They don't want to hear the truth anymore. But I don't care because if I help one person to quit the gossip and speculations and join the camp of intellectual analysis, I will be a happy man. So, conspiracy theorists, couch experts, the people who know everything about Chelsea, from the kitchen lady to the ground man, they are making us believe that Tammy Abraham don't want to sign a new contract with Chelsea Football Club because he wants 180k a week. And he wants to move somewhere else so he can get more money. Well, 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 let me tell you, the money that we pay at Chelsea Football Club, you're not going to get anywhere else. Do you really think that West Ham or Aston Villa are going to pay Tammy Abraham more than 100k a week? Just think about it. Chelsea been offering Tammy Abraham between 100 and 150k a week contract for five years. That money, he's not getting it anywhere. In Germany, in France, in Spain, everywhere, any team. Tammy Abraham is not getting that kind of money. But he rejected the money. Why? Because he wanna play football. He just wanna play football, people. Tammy Abraham 
is on 45 to 50 freaking K a week. That is less than Jamal Blackman. You know what I mean? Do you even know who Jamal Blackman is? He is a Chelsea player who've been on loan for the last 10 years. And you know why players prefer to sign with Chelsea Football Club and go on loan? Because they are not going to get the same money they are getting a Chelsea Football Club being on loan, if that makes sense to you. If Tammy Abram was after money, he was going to sign a bumper contract with Chelsea Football Club about 150k a week and then go on loan because he has nothing to lose he's gonna get a lot of money signing for chelsea and going on loan so if you still believe that tammy abram is refusing the contract because of money think again or if you still believe on that conspiracy theory and then something is seriously wrong with you and I can't help you. So according to those couch geniuses, Tammy Abram refused to sign a contract worth 150k a week and he's going to sign a contract worth 80 to 90k a week at West Ham or Aston Villa. <laughs> Man, certain people are just taking the stupidity to the next level. If that makes sense to you. He deserves a lot of respect. He deserves a lot of respect. Another conspiracy theory going on around is that Tammy Abram is not Chelsea level. He doesn't love Chelsea and he rejected Chelsea. He's supposed to sign for Chelsea, whatever the conditions are and blah 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 shut the fuck up chelsea tammy abram been a chelsea football club since the age of seven do you think that you love chelsea football club more than tammy abram you and me are couch expert how dare are we to think that we love the club more than tammy abram the truth is football is also a business in terms of money but also in terms of personal goals. Clearly, Tammy Abram is choosing personal goals over money. He wanna go somewhere where he can get less money but play football. Are we clear? In my humble opinion, Tammy Abram is too good to be in the Chelsea bench. He deserves to play week in and week out. He showed it in the championship, with uh, Aston Villa, he showed it at uh, Swansea City in the Premier League and he's going to show it wherever he's going to play next in the Bundesliga, French League, La Liga. You are going to regret for letting Tammy Abram go. There is no doubt about it. The same expert, the same geniuses who didn't want to see Lukaku at Chelsea Football Club because he missed a penalty in the Super Cup are the same people who are crying and asking for Chelsea to pay whatever money it is to get Lukaku back at Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea fans don't learn anything. It's about now. Last season, Tammy Abram was Chelsea top scorer with 16 goals without taking any penalty. If he was taking penalties, he was going to be the golden boot in the Premier League. Fact. This season, he was reduced to a secondary role, which is supporting Timo Werner. The rest is history. But for some reason, it's only Tammy Abram to blame. Yeah. Can you see how this stupid and evil agenda works? Good luck to Tammy Abram. I will be watching you, brother. I will be supporting you from distance. The so-called expert, the big mouth social media flip-flop FC. They think that uh, football is different. No, football is not different than any other job in the world. You've been working very hard since the age of seven. More than 17 years of hard work to make it to the first team and out of the blue, you bring a new guy to take my place. How are you gonna feel? 
Just put yourself in Tammy's shoes and give me an honest answer. I know football is not about honesty, but if you are honest with yourself, you're going to understand the frustration that Tammy Abraham is feeling right now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. If you really like the video, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification. And turn on your notification. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here. What are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Perfect. Perfect. You?